everyone, welcome to A Fruitful Home. Today I'm gonna do a vlog style video where I bring you along with me as I check in on one of our flips and do some last minute landscaping. This flip is going on the market tomorrow, so I'm really excited to spruce up the front because I think it's gonna make a big impact. First stop is Home Depot. Just on our way to Home Depot, Matt's driving me. <laughs> Uh, and then he's gonna drop me off at the house and then come pick me up later. So I always like to do the landscaping at our projects. It's usually only takes a couple hours and honestly it makes such a big difference. So for today, I'm not doing anything crazy. We like to keep it simple. So I'm gonna pick up some hostas, some tall grasses. We'll see what they have at Home Depot. Um, and then yeah, I'm excited to see the outcome. Got back from Home Depot and we are at the house. As you can see, the front yard has just gotten totally overgrown. So we've got everything we need and I'm about to get started. So this is the before shot. All right, I got my work cut out for me. update I have cleared out the front main bed and I've sort of laid out the plants where I would like them we had very limited options at Home Depot so this is what we've settled on so I'm gonna go ahead and plant them and then lay down the mulch but I think it's already a super improvement all the hostas and the cedars are planted and I think it looks honestly so good. I'm so excited to mulch and then we will move on to clearing this little garden out and then mulching it as well. But wow, what a big difference. Two hours later. The outside is finished. We're gonna lay some grass seed down here. There's nothing really much we can do with that right now. But I think this looks great compared to what it looks look like we just went super simple and I think it just added a lot of interest to the front yard um, and then we just got a little planter up there with some flowers hopefully they don't die tonight tonight is like the last cold day here in Ontario and then hopefully we'll be into some warmer weather so fingers crossed but for now I think this turned out pretty good and then this is the flower bed here I just cleaned it up put some mulch down Bob's your uncle. So now we're gonna go inside and I'll give you a little sneak peek of how it turned out in here. Today we're doing some filming post renovation filming. Quick little clip. We'll do some more filming after. There's the fruitful investor himself. to walk you through the flip so you can see what it turned out like. I don't have any before videos. If you want to see a before video, go check out The Fruitful Investor. He has a whole walkthrough of what it looked like before. But what I really like is the after. Um, the kitchen turned out great. This is the first time we did a waterfall edge on the countertop. And both Matt and I think it turned out really great. We also did an accented island, which ties into all the black accent features that we did in this house. Um, to me, the kitchen is really like the best part of this flip. I think it turned out great. It looks so custom and so high-end that hopefully this is what will seal the deal when we list it tomorrow. When you come in to the um, dining slash living room, it's not huge, but I think it does the job. And the way that the stagers staged it, I think is really smart. I didn't stage it, um, so we have a company come in and she did a really fantastic job. So let's keep on going with the tour. What's behind door number one? Oh, let's see, turn the light on. The powder room. Just a simple powder room, nice and fresh. 
Oh, I should also say that we, uh, this is the first time we've also painted the doors a different color other than white. Uh, and I think it does add another element of design that just makes this look more than just an average flip. So, let's go down door number two. Yes. feeling to the basement. Um, we put in another powder room down here. So for, <laughs> for our flips, we try to keep the tiles that we use in the bathroom similar just to add continuity into the home. Um, and so then we've carried the floor that was on the main floor down here. Just a utility room, we carried about that. And then this is the basement. Again, the ceilings uh, heights are so tall here. So what we would envision a family moving in, this would be like their hangout space because the living room upstairs isn't that big. Uh, and that's partially why we decided to finish this space is because upstairs is so tight. So down here, they can set up a big TV here. Uh, they can definitely get a bigger couch, maybe a sectional. There's tons of space down here, and I think it will be great for a family. So let's go upstairs. This is just storage behind the store. Got it. <laughs> some pictures and then we're going to get some dinner. So we just finished up at the flip and Matt, <laughs> Matt went and got us some dinner. So we're on our way home to eat it. Yay. Okay, we're at home now. I got changed into my sweats, nice and comfy. It was a really long day. Um, I'm really happy with how the outside turned out and I'm really pumped for the listing tomorrow. Um, but I did want to say, so I got to the house at around 1.30 and I finished the outside work at about 4.30. So it was three hours worth of work and about $180 worth of supplies and I think it made a big difference. 
Um, so if you're thinking about selling or even if you have a rental property or your own personal home and you just wanna spruce up the front yard, it really honestly doesn't take a lot of effort or a lot of money. Um, actually, maybe it does take some effort. I am feeling a little tired and I am super excited to eat. We don't normally do takeout, but after today, uh, I think that we earned it. So I'm gonna eat and then we are gonna take Frankie for a walk. Now we're out with Frankie. <laughs> the funnest part of the day. Look at him go. Also, I don't know if you can see back there, but there is a snowman. On May 12th. On May freaking 12th. Hot winter mitts, like what's going on here? Yeah, let's hope that that thing melts tomorrow. I will not be sad to see that go. Okay, one last Frankie run. Golden boy! How do you think today went? Today was absolutely insane. Saw two properties, had a client put an offer on both of them. We got the flip ready, flips on the market. We shot the video, it was just insane. What today do you think great. of the flip? I'm so excited. It's gonna look amazing. It does look amazing. I can't wait for it to sell. It's gonna yes. be great. I'm just about to jump in to the sauna. As you can see, it is very cold here in Ontario. So I'm going to jump in the sauna warm up, do a little spa session. Um, so if you like this video, hit the subscribe button and follow along. I hope you like this day in the life of a real estate flipper. Um, I hope to do more of these in the future, but for now I am going to get my spa on. So see you in the next video.